Transcending history and the world, a tale of soul and swords, eternally retold. Oh my goodness, what an opening to a game. Welcome guys to Soul Blade by Namco. Hey, that's the company I work for. <laughs> Convenient, right? Uh, welcome, yeah, to Soul Blade. We're going to press the start button. Oh my god, that sound though. Uh, welcome, yes, welcome to another short series, maybe, we'll see, um, of... Oh wow, demos, you remember these? Remember demos, guys? Um... These were cool. Uh, welcome, yeah, to my third fighting game of all time, Soul Blade, um, which I believe then went on to become uh, Soul Calibur, right? Uh, which unfortunately I never played. I never played any Soul Calibur, so this is the only one I did play. Back on the PlayStation 1. Oh my god, all these menus though. So yeah, there's a lot more menu stuff than say, Bloody Raw or Street Fighter. So we have Arcade, which, of course, you know, you're going to expect in every uh, fighting game. You're going to have your versus, you know, your, your one and two player. Again, Team Battle, which was very, uh, very much in um, Bloody Raw and Street Fighter. Same with Time Attack, same with Survival. you got your Practice Mode, in case you suck. Um, and I believe Edge Master Mode... I'm going to say was like a story mode, which is cool, because you've got your arcade, but then you've got your edge master, which, yeah, again, a story mode, which I don't think was ever heard of before in a fighting game. I might be wrong, but uh, the cool thing about this, I think, is um, okay, we'll, we'll stay on this screen. Uh, so yeah, the thing about this mode is you'd go through and you'd fight different people, of course. But not only that, you once you fought each person and you moved on to like the next stage, which it gave you like a little mini map, which was quite cool. But you could unlock weapons. So you'd unlock new weapons as you went on, which was like I thought was like the coolest thing in the world when I first ever played this. Um, so I think this is the mode that we're going to start with, and I think we're going to end off with an arcade mode. Now, there's not too many characters in this, not like there is in uh, Street Fighter, of course. Uh, I'm going to try and pronounce these names, but we've got Mitsurugi. Just a guess. Uh, we've got Sof Sofitia. We've got Taki. We've got Rock here. Yeah, I remember there being someone called Rock in this. Uh, Huang. I'm just going to go on a whim and say that's how you pronounce that. Siegfried. I remember him. We've got 
Sweng Mina, maybe. Li Long, which is probably one of my favourite characters because he uses like nunchucks. So that's probably who we're going to do this mode with. Um, a Voldo, very, very iconic. I know I remember quite well uh, Voldo. And I believe this guy is the boss for Arcade, I think. Gia Giavantis? Giavantis? Maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, I think we're going to go with Li Long. So let's, let's do this, shall we? Let's test out this mode and get into my third, third fighting game on the PlayStation 1. Li Long. All right, let's test this out. I remember his, his stage. Oh, hang on. Do I read this? By the history, a man becomes a soldier. Through his history, becomes a hero from a bard song in the 14th century. I didn't get to read the rest. Here he is, though. Nunchuck boy. Yeah, so we'll unlock new nunchucks as we go on, which is pretty cool. Li Long. Press any button. And I think, yeah, we get like a little... Yeah, I remember this. So we get like a, a mini-map kind of thing. Or like a world map. And we go around the world fighting different people. Um, yeah, and you could select your weapons. So of course at the moment we've only got the, the Falcon. Um, and yeah, they all have different uh, stats as well. So power, defense, strength, durability, weight. Oh my god, and this music. I remember this music so, so well. Holy crap. bring back so many memories man so yeah we, we, we'll stick with the falcons right now um so we can't battle or we can't move just yet because i believe we have to go to the book so let's check out the book first all right name lee long he's 24 years of age he was born october 23rd uh in blood type b family structure parents deceased mimi sister chi lover oh or chai chi chai Weapon, the Falcon, style, uh, matchless dragon. After the death of the great, uh, Irakute, I'm just gonna guess these words, the Ming Dynasty suffered plundering by southern Japanese pirates called the Waku. Wakao, Waku? Uh, the Emperor finally took action and sent Li Long to assassinate the leader of the pirates. The secret mission also included an order to retrieve the valiant sword, the Soul Edge. Oh my god. However, the assassin Li Long did not care about Soul Edge taking advantage of war-torn Japan. He decided not to only target the Waiku leader, but also the Daimo... Yeah, Daimo Federal Lords. This action was, of course, outside the limits of his mission, but he had no doubts as to his success. His iron will would see him through, however. Man is not made of iron. His attack on the head of a powerful family in Honshu went array leaving him badly wounded. Fortunately for him, he was rescued by a beautiful girl named Chi or Chai. Chai was a daughter of the innkeeper Yahe. Yai, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. As a child, she was traumatized by her mother's death and lost her ability to speak. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of reading. Even without words, Chai is capable of understanding people's sorrow. She devoted herself to the care of the wounded man. Li Long gradually opened his heart to Chai and the two began to love each other. Li Long stayed with Chai even after his injuries healed, but destiny did not treat him kindly. While he was away, a fight broke out at the inn. In his confusion, his lover was thought to have been killed. Who? Who did this? Why? The wounded Ye told a grief-stricken Li Long that a wandering swordsman had started it, then fled. Eyewitnesses thought it might be the, long, uh, the lone swordsman Hashiro ah, Mitsurugi. However, Mitsurugi was not the only swordsman wandering the land. When I find who did this, I will show no mercy. Uh, remorse filled Li Long until he had revelation. I will not rest until I have hunted down every single swordsman. Li Long discovered that he, uh, Hishiro Mitsurugi was searching for Soul Edge and decided to follow him. If I find Soul Edge first, Mitsurugi will come to me and his death. Oh, and his death. If Mitsurugi is not Chai's murderer, I'll just continue hunting criminal swordsmen. I will also have the sword for Erakuti. Er Erakute. Li Long started to pack up for a journey to trace Mitsurugi, hoping to take revenge for his dead lover, Chai. <laughs> the Shrine of Confined Demons. This shrine is surrounded by bamboo. It was built by people with supernatural power to seal off the fury demon inside. Mitsurugi had plans to exterminate the demon uh, haunting this shrine. 
Li Long decided to ambush Mitsurugi at the shrine, but the samurai did not appear. Where can he be? Wait. Suddenly, Li Long realized he wasn't alone. Someone's coming. Could it be? He reached for his nunchaku in anticipation. Aha! Rock, age 35, born December 14th, weapon Crescent Axe, style own style, a reckless commando. Rock was possessed by an evil spirit when he entered at the shrine and has now turned into a demon, attacking people uh, indiscriminately. Attack and defeat this supernatural foe. Press the start button to battle. Let's get into our first official fight. Episode 1, Li Long vs. Rock. Versus Rock. Fight. Let's go. Ow. Remember this could be quite challenging, you know. Yeah, and you can knock people out of the ring the in this too. Battle ended with the victory of Li Long. You win. Yeah. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. Versus Rock. Fight. See, he's only got to uh, beat me once. Ow. I remember not being that great at this game. Ouch. So. I'm trying to remember the buttons, to be quite honest. Ow. Ow. No, don't get me out. Don't get me out. There we go, we got him. The grueling battle ended with the victory of Li Long. You win. Hell yeah. <sighs> we got it. We and we unlocked a new weapon. Li Long defeated the demon rock and seized his weapon. He modified it to make a new weapon, the poison snake wing. Uh, snake wing? Snake wind. Oh my god, words. Okay. Episode 1, Japan, Omni Isle. So now we can move, I believe. Yeah, so we move to the next stage. Oh, God. How, how, how do? There we go. Li Long headed for the Pirate's Castle. So I think we go back to the book. Yeah, Pirate's Castle. Noto Castle belongs to the Noto Murakami and the Satone. Satonai? Pirate's Mori Sea Force. It has naval parts which supply the pirate ships between raids. Valuable weapons stolen by the pirates are kept inside the castle. Mitsurugi had already left this place and has gone to the new continent. I have no business here anymore, Li Long said. Li Long took the weapon Titan from the armory. A swordsman in a suit of armor blocked his way. I saw you take that. Come with me. You are under arrest. Never. Li Long raised his weapon and entered a fighting stance. Siegfried. Age. Wow, he's only 16? Damn, I thought he was older than that. Born February 6th. Weapon forced. Style own style. He is a young mercenary looking to avenge his father's death. Because of his great swordsmanship, he was employed as a mercenary captain guarding this castle. Others are coming. Defeat him within the time allowed. Oh, snap. Now, I don't know if your weapon, your new weapon gets equipped. No, I need to equip it. Okay. So we missed that weapon. I need to equip that. I remember to try to. Oh my god, I'm getting my arse whipped. You gotta beat him in like 10 seconds? You must have to knock him out of the ring, surely. I'm gonna die. Time's up. Yeah, time is you up. Lose. So what if you have to rest until I reap vengeance for my father? I wonder if you have to knock him out of the ring then. Let me No, that's not what I wanted. Let me select my weapon. Let's go with the snake wind. Complete damage against opponents and what? Is that? I didn't see. I didn't see. Versus yeah, yeah. Three. Fight. Out of the ring. Yeah, there we go. We got him. The ruling battle ended with the victory of Li Long. You win. I remember Li Long's stage being on a raft, and you could knock them into the water. I remember that being pretty cool. Uh, okay, Li Long quickly defeated Siegfried, and with his Titan, he left the castle and escaped his pursuers. A few days later, Li Long boarded a ship for his home country in pursuit of Mitsurugi. Nice. Okay, so, we could probably change our weapon again. 
So that one's defense is not good on that, and the strength's not that great. This is pretty good. The weight's not too uh, too much either. So this is basically an all-out balanced weapon, I guess. But we'll try out the Titans for sure. All right, let's move. So three, China. Li Long went over to China, just like that, apparently. We go back to the book. Uh, the Narrow Gorge. The Gorge Sankaiho is located in the middle uh, reaches of the Yangtze, one of China's great rivers. Li Long burned with vengeful thoughts, concluding that Mitsurugi would have to pass this main section of the river on his travels. Li Long had never seen Mitsurugi's face. It was impossible for him to recognize the samurai, but Li Long, with his iron will, had no doubts that he could find his enemy. I'll attack every swordsman traveling on this river. Oh, snap! So we've got Sei Mi Na, age 16, born November 3rd, weapon Zanbata, Zanbata, style uh, Sei Yung's long blade. Then we've got Taki, and we've got So Sofatia. Defeat every opponent. Okay. Here we go. I don't ever remember getting. Ah, this is Li Long stage. Yeah, this is the one I remember. Bye. <laughs> The ruling battle ends with the victory of Li Long, you win. Yeah, I don't know if I ever remember finishing this mode before when I was a kid. I don't think I did anyway. Definitely... Definitely finished um, arcade before. Ow. Got you there, girl. Bye. The ruling battle ends with the victory of Li Long. You win. I used to love how he used to swing those nunchucks. I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. Sofatia. I remember that 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 sound bite. Ow. Oh, the thing is you can get knocked out of the ring as well, so I have to be careful, very, very careful. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the grueling battle ended with the victory of Li Long. You win. Yeah. Got it, got it, got more. Ooh! Li Long fought several swordsmen, but Mitsurugi did not appear. He crafted the weapon seized from swordsmen on the river and made Phoenix a new nunchaku. With a shackle attached, frustrated by Mitsurugi's absence, he left the gorge. Yeah, so we're essentially just fighting people we would in arcade. Um, let's have a look at this weapon, though. The Phoenix. So the strength is pretty pants, but the defense is good. Uh, durability is okay. The weight's okay. Honestly, I think I'm gonna stick with the Titans for now. Because they're pretty cool. But let's move to Central Asia. Li Long went north and reached the desert. The desert. There is a desert area in Central Asia for people who travel across the continent avoiding the dangerous sea route. This desert is the most dangerous part of the overland route. Except for the ruin of an ancient Chinese fortress, the area is barren. You, what do you want from me? The man addressed Li Long. Uh, the man addressed Li Long. His height and size were the same as Mitsurugi's, but this was not him. He was no Japanese samurai. You are not who I thought you were. Li Long uh, re-dyed his nunchaku and stepped closer to the man. But I'm not one to turn down a challenge. Ah, Huang Sung Kyung, age 25, born August 8th, weapon Nippon Blade, style Sung's Long Blade. Uh, the hero in a warlike age, Huang is the swordsman who was ordered to find the pa Patriot's sword to save his country. Having already been ambushed and followed by bandits, Huang was constantly vigilant. Use an air com- oh my god, use an air combination technique to defeat him. This could go badly. 
but we'll see. An air combination? Maybe this is why I never got far in this. Because there was stuff like this, and I don't remember stuff like this. Ow. Yeah, because we do, like, no damage to him. Ah, he's got me here. I wonder if we can get him out of the ring, though. Would that count? Yeah. The grueling battle ended with the victory of Wang Songkyong. You lose. I do lose. God damn. You kick my ass, boy. Oh, I remember this music, too. I wonder if um, changing weapon would do anything. I doubt it, right? We'll just... We'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll see. But let's just go with... Um... I don't know. I don't remember how to do air combinations. That's the problem. Oh, maybe like that. Mate, if I could get you out of the ring, that would be perfect. Wasn't X block? Yeah, X is block. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't get him out of the ring. Yeah, see, I don't remember how to do uh, air combinations. So this might be, have to be something I'll look up. Because his health is not going down. Unless we have to... Hang on, unless we get that... Meter down on him, maybe. I don't know. Ow. The grueling battle ended with the victory of Wang Zongkyong. You lose. Yeah, I need maybe I need to look that up because I don't know how to do air combos. But we'll give it another go. Unless we have to get that um, sword meter down. Ow. Well, certainly kick my ass there, boy. Ow. Oh. Ow, ow. Yeah, I'm very unsure how you do this. Because obviously we're not getting his health down. So yeah, I can't quite remember. And he knocked me out, so. The grueling battle ended with the victory of Wang Songkyo. You lose. Okay, well, guys, I think we've shown off a little bit of what this mode is going to be like. What I am going to do is I'm going to save. Save complete, nice. Um, and then what I think we'll do is we will return to this mode next time. So, I'm going to look some stuff up because I do not remember how it works. Uh, but I hope you enjoy this series. Welcome to Soul Blade. Another, I don't know, this might be a bit longer than uh, Bloody Roar and Street Fighter. Especially with this mode as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like on the video. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.